vlog, como están todos? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. <laughs> and for this video, I will be doing my mom's famous recipe of spaghettis. These aren't just any spaghettis, any restaurant casual, you know, you just pick up and go spaghettis. No, these are my mom's famous spaghettis. They are highly requested and everybody loves them. I love them, my family loves them, our church loves them, our friends loves them, loves, loves, loves. Everybody loves them and I wanted to share with you guys. She is working and we're gonna take them for church later on today and there's not gonna be any time so she told me if I could do them and I've seen her do it a lot of times but I've never actually done it. So hopefully um, it turns out good. She left me all the instructions, all the ingredients ready. I will be showing you guys them right now. So these are the ingredients I will be using. So this is oregano, garlic salt, goya sazonador total de perfect seasoning, also consomme, um, caldo con sabor de pollo, chicken flavor, bouillon, bouillon, uh -huh. and then prego and ragu. And I will be also using spaghetti, regular spaghetti, and then meat, ground Beef. I just hope I make them as good as she does. Hopefully nobody gets sick. Like I said, everyone's gonna try it at church today, so <laughs> pray for me and they have to pray for themselves. I'm actually pretty good at a lot of things and cooking is one of them. So I think I'm gonna do pretty good. There's certain things that I'll be explaining that she told me to do while in this process. So yeah, <laughs> without any further ado, let's get started and Put ourselves in the hands of God because your girl is going to cook in this video. Okay, so I am now ready to start the spaghetti. So right now I'm going to start on the meat part and on the sauce. And then later since the spaghetti, you know, the cooking of the pasta is pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty easy, pretty basic. Everybody knows it. I will be doing that later on in the day. But right now I will be doing the meat and the sauce. Yup. Let's get started. So I have my pan ready. Turn up the heat. There we go. I'm gonna take this off. Wait. Oh, and also I already washed my hands. And I, why am I so close to the pan? Hold on. And just to let you know, I already washed my hands and I picked up my hairs because we don't want no pelos, no suciedad in the comida. All right, so now we're going to put a little bit of oil into the pan. This is what my mom has me do. She breaks it up so it's not like big old chunks of meat. So I just break it apart and then let it sit for a little bit and then add the seasoning. So to the meat, she wanted me to point out that she uses oregano, that not a lot of people use oregano, but she does. And the rest of the ingredients, I think, if you're a good Hispanic, you know them. So then she adds that, and she told me to eyeball it. Eyeball, so let's do that. So I'm gonna use the oregano, the garlic salt, the sazonador total, and consomme pepucho. wait you see that like it has water oh oh wait it has water is that normal is that, let me let me just text my mom real quick i don't know if that's normal should it have water but you don't know i'm gonna text my mommy okay i think i think it is normal <laughs> okay coming along yay, yay. oh my gosh okay I just sent a picture to my mom just to make sure if I if I'm close enough to put in in the sauce yet so usually my mom blends ragu y prego 
and she blends both of these together. Do I know why? No, but I just, I'm just gonna do it. She does that, she, I've always seen her do that actually. She blends the two, she blends the two sauces. And, uh, yep, yep, yep. So I put the bowl with water ready for when I boil water, which is not gonna be right now because I'm gonna do the meat in the sauce. So the meat is almost done cooking. I'm going to open these two cans and usually what my mom does when there's like leftover sauce in the bottle she pours in some water and then shakes it and pours out whatever's left over and if there's any more seasoning or just more yes yeah, seasoning to be added she adds more of this consomme and yeah I just wanted to explain it before doing it so you guys can know what I'm doing and what's the process Let me know if you do this recipe too or if you use a different one. You know what, actually, I'm a big lover of pasta, just any pasta in general, and you have my heart. I love it so, so, so much. The only bad, only negative to this is that you can't eat too much of it. So that's the only negative part of like my favorite food is just that I just can't eat abundantly. Of <laughs> so, no. oh, it looks yummy. Yes, I like your fruit. Thank you. We're just gonna wait for it to boil more and then we're just gonna close it and let it sit until I make the pasta. Hi. Hi everyone, I am back. So now that the meat has been here for a couple of minutes, I put the water to boil and the pasta is cooking as of right now. Let me show you. I want to let you guys on a little insider. We don't add oil to the pasta when it's cooking, like when the water is boiling, because I have heard and I have researched that it is not a good idea to put oil on your pasta because the oil itself doesn't blend in with the water. It just sits on top. So when you drain it, it doesn't really have an effect on the pasta itself and prevent it to sticking to one another. And I can give some links down in the bottom as to give more further information of why you shouldn't add oil to your pasta. But you should add salt for flavor so I did add salt so now we're just waiting for the pasta to cook and once that's cooked I will blend it in with the sauce this is the first batch and the second batch I will cook it after this one because it is also good to cook your pasta in a big pot and have enough space for the pasta to cook because the pasta does grow when it is cooking and that's what it's doing right now it's cooking and then I'm just gonna blend it all together and once that is done I'm done What do you think of my spaghetti? Good. They're good. I love it. <gasps> mm. 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 Honestly, okay, like I can cook, right? But the way my mom cooks, I love her food so much. Like anything she makes, like she can make cereal, she can make toast, she can make like the most basic food you can think of, and it tastes so so good. And this made me realize that I need to start learning more of her recipes of her just how she cooks like I see her all the time so I think I can do it but I really need to start paying attention of like every single thing that she does but when she's not here I can make it but it's still not gonna be as good I think because she's so good at it so mommy I love I love how you cook te amo mami cocinas muy delicioso y como siempre te digo nunca fallas lo haces muy rico Deberías de tener tu restaurante, la verdad.